Hello everybody, it's your girl from Girl KE back with a new video helping you turn your farming businesses into a success. A lot of you have been asking me what happens or how do the managus that you propagate by yourself, how they perform. So today I'm here to answer that question and as you can see guys from my current managus, they are performing very well. They are having very huge blanches, they are growing very healthy and there are no diseases. Most likely because uh, managus do not require a lot of care. The only thing that you have to provide are the fertilizers for you to ensure that they have the right nutrients. Still, you do not require to have those many fungicides even if it is raining because as you can see guys, it's been raining for one month since April. Now we are in um, May and it, the rains are still continuing so if you harvest your managos on time they are going to be healthy and they are going to be good to go furthermore it only takes two days for you to dry the seeds when you're harvesting the seeds on your own farm you can also opt not to dry them you just plant them directly like you just break them and then you plant them they're still going to grow i have tried both methods and they have done pretty well so guys, you can see uh, managu farming is not such a difficult thing. It is something that you can actually do from scratch. So if you are out there and you do not have capital to start a farming business, for example, strawberries or maybe any other type of farming, you can opt to start with uh, managus because they are going to perform well and they do not require you to have a lot of capital you can improvise like uh, containers the ones that you use for cooking oil the old tires the jerry cans that are empty anything that might you know hold soil for some time because managus do not have those uh, huge roots so they're just going to be in a let's say a 14 inch container will be good for you and the only thing that you will require are manure which you can use the cow dung manure and the water and soil you mix the components together you plant your managus and if you're going to do it in this rainy season it is the best time because you will not need to incur costs of buying the water and it will take a very short period of time in three months period you're already harvesting your managus and you can harvest them for the next eight weeks so guys if you're out there and you do not have work you do not have capital to start a business consider starting a managu farming adventure because it is going to uplift lift you financially thank you so much for watching remember to subscribe comment share tell me what you think about the video in my subsequent videos i'll be talking about passion fruit farming so if you want to start a passion fruit farming that will require quite an amount of capital so just make sure that you tune in so that we can learn what the basic the do's and don'ts and leo guys i'm just not so myself I've been looking for services online, getting so many disappointments. And uh, I wonder how people work. I wonder how people operate. Anyway, it is a story for another day. I might think of telling you what happened to me this uh, couple of days. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.